Welcome everybody. Today we are going to practice telling time. We are going to be the big hand and do many movements as we practice telling time. Are you ready to go? Here's our clock. When we're the big hand and we're moving around the clock, when we point to the numbers, we go by fives. Let's practice counting by fives as we go around the clock as the big hand. Are you ready? Jumping jacks. Five, 10, 15, or quarter past. When the big hand is pointing to the three, it's 15 past or quarter past. 20, 25, 30, or half past. 35, 40, 45, or quarter two. 50. 55, back to zero or o'clock. Well done, let's do it again. Different exercise this time. We're going to be nice and tall, like we're a big hand, we're the big hand, remember, and we're going to squat, jack. All right, counting five fives again as we go around the clock as the big hand, five, 10, 15, or quarter past, 20, 25, 30, half past, 35, 40, 45, quarter two, 50, 55, back to zero, o'clock, well done. Keep working with us here. Learning to tell the time can be tricky, but I find when we're moving, sometimes it makes it easier to think and to remember. We know that when we're physically active, we think more clearly and we remember much better. All right, next exercise. Going around our clock still, counting by fives, remembering when the big hand's on the one, it's five. When the big hand's on the two, it's 10. All right. Here we go, we're going to squat and kick. Squat, kick. Opposite hand, opposite foot touching. Are you ready? Here we go, and five, 10, 15, or quarter past, 20, 25, 30, half past, 35, 40, 45, quarter two, 50, 55, back to zero or o'clock. Well done. I think I might have got the squat kick confused with the numbers. It can be tricky. I make mistakes. You make mistakes. It's okay. We're learning together. Let's keep working. Okay. Next exercise. We are going to, I'm going to turn my back to you and we are going to be the big hand. We're gonna stretch as high as we can. We're gonna stretch out as much as we possibly can and move around the clock as we count. Are you ready? Here we go. Starting at o'clock. Stretch up as high as you can. Reach, 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 reach. Even up on your tippy toes, reach. I'm the big hand. I'm o'clock and then five after, 10 after, 15 after. Quarter past, 20 past, 25, 30, half past, 35, 40, 45, quarter two, 50, 55, back to zero, o'clock, stand up your tippy toes, reach that as high as you can, you're the big hand, 
and back down. Let's go one more time. Are you ready? Stretch as much as you possibly can. Stretch out five, 10, 15 past, quarter past, 20, 25, 30, half past, 35, 40, 45, quarter two, 50, 55, back to zero, o'clock, reach up high on your tippy toes, reach, you're the big hand, yes, well done, I hope you got a nice stretch, and you're starting to get the idea of moving around the clock as the big hand, moving by fives, next exercise, we're going to Shuffle, shuffle, hop, shuffle, shuffle, hop. Look at the clock and call out what it is. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Shuffle, shuffle, hop, shuffle, shuffle, hop. Quarter past. Shuffle, shuffle, hop, shuffle, shuffle, hop. Half past. Quarter two. O'clock. Let's go again. Come on. Quarter past. Half past. Quarter two. O'clock. Excellent job. Same thing, except this time we're gonna shuffle over, touch, shuffle over, touch. Call it what time you see, all right? Here we go, and shuffle over, touch. Quarter past. Half past. Quarter two. O'clock. Let's go again. Come on. Quarter past. Half past. Quarter two. O'clock. Well done, everyone. Excellent, excellent work. Keep practicing. Learning to be the big hand. And what those numbers mean as you go around the clock just takes practice. You will get there. Keep working your body and your mind. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks. And good luck with learning to tell the time.